In this video, I'm going to write a C program that checks to see whether a password conforms to a set of requirements for a password or not. So we're going to check to see if the password is at least eight characters long and that it has one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one digit, and one symbol. So we'll make a test password. We'll say here car P is equal to, and we'll say A uppercase X lowercase five, which is a digit and at which is a symbol. And then we'll put in some extra characters here to make sure it's greater than eight characters in length. So we'll make a function that's actually going to verify whether a password conforms to a set of requirements or not. And I'm going to include a couple libraries to help us here. I'm going to include the stdbool.h library that allows us to make Boolean variables. I'm going to include the string.h library that allows us to use the string length function. And I'm also going to include the C type library that has a set of functions that can check to see whether a character is in a given character class like check to see whether a character is uppercase or not. So the function is going to look like this. We'll say bool verify underscore password, and the function is going to accept the string as an argument. And then I'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way this is going to work is we're going to loop through this string. And as we do, we're going to be checking to see if it conforms to these properties. And we'll be setting some Boolean variables to see whether we can find each one of these things that we need to find. Before we do that though, we'll first check to see that the length of the string is okay. So we'll say here int length is equal to strlenp. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the length of the string. And we're gonna say that if the length is less than eight, it's not long enough. And we'll return false for the password not being valid. So false means the password is not valid. And the next thing we're going to do is we'll loop through this string and we'll check to see, do we have each one of these things? We'll start off with the assumption that we don't, and we'll use some Boolean variables to keep track of these things. So we'll say here, bool has upper is false. Bool has lower is false. Bool has digit is false. And then bool has symbol is false. And now we're going to loop through the password string. And if we find an uppercase character, we'll set this to true. If we find a digit, we'll set this to true and so on. So we'll say here for int i is equal to zero. I is less than length i plus plus. And if is upper for the character at position i is true, then we found an uppercase character and we can say has upper is equal to true. So this is upper function here. It's one of those functions that comes from the C type library and it just checks this character to see whether it's an uppercase character or not. If it is, it returns true. And so if we find an uppercase character, we're going to set has upper to true to verify that that restriction is there. And then we can do the same thing with lowercase digit and symbol. So we'll say here, if is lower, the character at position I in this string here, then we'll set has lower to true. If is digit for P at I is true, we'll set has digit equal to true. And if is punked, the, the character at position I is true, then we're going to say has symbol is equal to true. So is punked checks for punctuation marks, which is basically anything that's not a white space character like space or tab or an alphanumeric character like a digit or a letter. So we'll get through this here. And if an uppercase character is in there, has upper is going to be true. If there's a digit in there, has digit is going to be true. And same for the others. So then we'll do a check and we'll say, if we couldn't find an uppercase character, return false. If we couldn't find a digit, return false and so on. So if not has upper return false. So if it's not the case that it has an uppercase character, return false because it doesn't conform to the restrictions. And we'll do the same thing for the others. So if not has lower, we're going to return false. If not has digit, we're going to return false. If not has symbol, we're going to return false. And if we get through all of this and we couldn't find a problem with the password, we're going to return true because at this point, We've checked for all the conditions we need to check for. If we haven't found any violations at that point, we can say that the password is okay. 
So now we'll actually test out this password by calling this function. So we'll say here bool result is equal to verify password and we'll pass it p as an argument. And we'll say if the result is true, it's a valid password. So we'll say printf, printf, we'll say verified password. Else if we couldn't verify it, we'll say printf invalid password. So printf invalid password. Okay, and then we'll run this and test it out. So when we run it here, we get verified password because this password is okay. It does have everything it needs. If I were to take out something that is required, like say an at symbol here, now there's no symbol in the password. So if I run it now, we get invalid password. And we could check for some other things too. Maybe we put it back in a symbol, we take out a digit. If we run it, same thing, invalid password. We could put in the digit again, and maybe we'll make it so the password isn't long enough. So it's only four characters long. And we could run this, and we'll get invalid password. If we make it long enough again though, it's gonna go back to being a verified valid password. And so we've now written a function in C that's going to allow us to verify that a password conforms to a set of restrictions. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.